What's going on, everybody? So we got some Bird of Prey news because, well, guess what? You're not allowed to criticize this movie. You need to just accept it and go watch it. What's your problem, you terrible, terrible istophobes? Uh, you need to just go watch it. Don't criticize it. Just consume it. I'm really excited. So we'll see how this movie does. I'm seeing conflicted reports on how it's going to do in the box office. A couple more recent articles are saying that it's actually tracking up to 50 million. And then there's uh, some that are a little older that are saying that it's on it's it's tracking to be the worst DCEU opener yet. So we'll see what happens. So far early reviews for the movie from audiences, not critics. I want to stress that cuz the critics are going to love this movie. I mean, why wouldn't they? You got Harley Quinn running around and a uh, jump vest and potato sacks. I'm sure I'm sure this is exactly what they want in a movie like this. Plus, let's not forget about the marketing behind this movie. The way they've been marketing this movie is pretty much it's a lot so remember the Charlie's Angels thing. I just did a video on this the other day and how this is, movie has pretty much used woke nonsense as like the way to get people in theaters like yeah, this film's going to tackle misogyny and the patriarchy. Can't you not be excited to see it? Harley Quinn, uh, Margaret Robbie, or whatever her name is, running around talking about how uh, Harley Quinn is going to get rid of the male gaze. No, this Harley Quinn's not going to be affected by male gaze. Ha, 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 ha. So it's like, I'm sure this is exactly what people want to hear when they're talking about, you know, especially if you're taking some people with you. Like, so if you're taking a wife or a girlfriend or something, probably 40 bucks. I'm sure that's exactly what the guy that's paying for that ticket wants to hear about how uh, he's a piece of trash garbage. Because don't forget, Ewan McGregor said that your time is over, men, in his interview recently. So, I mean, I'm sure that this movie is meant to appeal to him. And if you don't feel like that appeals to you, uh, then you need to watch your mouth you istophobe, how dare you not sit down and enjoy this lecture? How dare you? You're not allowed to criticize it because, well, guess what? Misogynists are already bashing birds of prey without seeing it. Where have I seen this before? The movie isn't even out yet. Of course, coming from the Mary Sue. Probably one of the biggest defenders of corporations and products that I've seen so far on the internet. So they, of course, are going to go to task to talk about how great of a movie this is and why you shouldn't criticize it and you should just enjoy it. Uh, despite it being pretty meh, according to audience reviews, I will say, though, you're right. I can't say it's going to be a, a good movie or a bad movie yet. But going through history, when movies utilize woke marketing, they're usually not very good. It's usually kind of a mask or cover up to kind of get people that consider themselves to be activists to show up to watch the movie and support it. It worked very well for Captain Marvel, to be honest. It, it did work for Captain Marvel. Not so much for any other movie. Captain Marvel really pushed it. Brie Larson really pushed it. She self-admittedly used the film as a platform. That's one of the reasons she took it, so that she could kind of push her activism and to bigger markets because now she would have a platform to do so with. But there's always holes in these stories, and we're going to go over it, when they say that you know men just hate these films because women are in them. Uh, so far, Black Widow, no one's really saying anything bad about that movie because, well, when I look up marketing for that movie, I'm not being told that I need to be lectured during it. It seems like just a fun movie that's meant to entertain me. I don't hear any of the actors or actresses involved in the movie running around talking about how men are trash. That's a plus. That's a plus. Uh, Wonder Woman did none of that. She's even going to talk about backlash in this article towards Wonder Woman, and I'm thinking the whole time there was no backlash to Wonder Woman. In fact, most people kind of agree Wonder Woman was an all right movie. Uh, maybe not the greatest, but by far not the worst. I actually like that movie quite a bit. I'm really looking forward to Wonder Woman 1984. I think that movie looks really good. And so far, no garbage marketing around it. I wonder why nobody's criticizing that movie. But then you get to a movie like Birds of Prey or Captain Marvel. Yes, people criticize it because it's being marketed as some kind of lecture bullcrap movie. And people don't like that. 
but they can't seem to get that under their under their skin. They, you know, like I've always said, you know, they consider these mandatory now because that's all these people do is think everyone's out to get them. So anyway, let's see what she's saying. Let's go over this. It's not a very long article. We'll start down here. What year am I writing from? Is it from 2016 Ghostbusters movie that was torn to shreds before it even came out? Well, even after it came out, <laughs> people were tearing that film to shreds because it was, a, it was arguably a pretty terrible movie. The box office reflected that. Nobody liked it. I don't know if you can blame that, though, on videos on YouTube. I think it's just the fact that nobody wanted that movie. It was well, the only reason it was made was so that they could do pretty much rip off a lot of the stuff from the first two Ghostbusters and just change the cast over to females. Is a what we like to call a gimmick. Didn't quite work out. Nobody wanted that because in a lot of ways, Ghostbusters, at least the first one, is a masterpiece of comedy. That movie uh, had queef jokes. So I'm not sure, you know, you you can't sit here and say 2016 Ghostbusters is a good movie. And I'm sure somebody in the comments will say they liked it. That's fine if you liked that movie. It's fine. I'm not here to argue with you on that. I didn't like it. And I think the majority of people didn't like it. So why am I talking about 2017's Wonder Woman? Maybe 2019's Captain Marvel. Or maybe I'm looking to the future of Black Widow. Or what's happening right now, this second, with Birds of Prey. Well, I gotta be honest. Not a lot of people are really criticizing Birds of Prey just yet. Uh, no one, I think, really cares about it. We like to make fun of the marketing. That's really been the big thing. We like to make fun of the marketing and the things that the cast are saying about the movie, like when they're talking about how she's not made for the male gaze or, you know, that it's time to fight misogyny. Like, that's pretty cringy and worth making fun of. So, yes, people are making fun of those. Now, Wonder Woman, I haven't seen anybody criticize that. I didn't see Gal Gadot running around saying men are piles of trash. Uh, anytime I saw her in an interview, she was promoting the movie and talking about how much she liked it and how it's a movie for men and women. And that worked out pretty good for that movie. I don't like getting into that. I, I hate when they bring in Wonder Woman. At least she's bringing it in, but I like how she's trying to shoehorn Wonder Woman in, trying to say that movie had backlash. And she does it quite a bit in this article, tries to... Tries to shoehorn that movie in. Nobody had a problem with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was a good film. It didn't have cringy marketing attached to it. That's why nobody had a problem with the movie. It's almost like if you just tell a good story and want to entertain people and are nice to the fans, not calling them istophobes, people won't go against your movie. It's a really crazy concept of just treating people good. But anyway, time and time again, it's hard to even have an honest, critical conversation about these female-led movies because of men and some women. At least she finally acknowledges that. It's always, oh, just the men hate it. On the internet, trashing the movie in bad faith before we even get the chance to see it. Basically, don't criticize the marketing, the trailers. You just need to go see it first before you can even talk about it. So let's take a moment, buckle in, and explore why men and, again, some women on the internet continue to be the worst. I like how she just shoehorns that in parentheses. Really just wants to say men, because they literally do hate dudes over on the Mary Sue. They hate them. Time and time again, we are confronted with the knowledge that in order for women to succeed in any given format, we have to fight an uphill battle to get there. Let's look at it for the sake of argument, and because it's the most recent movie to go through this, Captain Marvel. Prior to release, it was dragged continually by men and some women who did not see the movie yet. They just hated the idea of Marvel, which had previously been dominated by men having their first female lead. Maybe it was because it wasn't Natasha Romanoff, which is a whole other subject, but it's probably more just the idea of them getting literally, of women getting literally anything. I'm waiting for the Black Widow attacks next. Uh, number one, the Black Widow attacks aren't going to happen because, well... They're not running around calling men trash. No one in that movie is using their platform to talk about how men are all istophobes and all that stuff. Uh, for the most part, uh, you did kind of get one thing right. Everybody said Black Widow should have got her movie first. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I think the Black Widow movie looks good. It will hopefully follow the line of Captain, Mar or, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier which I think, in my opinion, is the best MCU movie. And it kind of looks like that's what Black Widow is going to be, just a good kind of like spy movie. 
I'm hoping that that's the case because, like I said, if it follows Winter Soldier, and that's what a lot of people are saying it does, uh, it'll probably be a really good movie. There is no backlash to Black Widow. And because there isn't, I'm sure you won't be writing any articles about how no one's treating that movie unfairly, will you? That's not going to happen. You won't do that. And uh, I find that quite funny in itself. We're just going to go ahead and stick to the movies with the cringy marketing and never talk about the fact that it has cringy marketing. So it's exhausting, which is the easiest way of putting it. Well, here's an, here's uh, just a fun idea when you call this exhausting. Maybe stop trying to white knight for the movies and just stop watching the content that you find exhausting. That is an idea. You could do that. Uh, there's nothing that you don't have to see on the internet. You can turn off YouTube. You can also turn off Twitter. I know it's crazy to think about considering I'm sure you are one of the loud 10% on Twitter. So I'm pretty sure you're just going to keep getting exhausted. We live in a world where any male nerd movie that stars a woman is going to get attacked before it's even on its feet. Not true. Because Black Widow seems to be loved by everybody. Wonder Woman seems to be loved by everybody. So that's not true. But you're not going to mention that. Birds of Prey is getting it in multiple ways. Even saying that the movie that the female leads lacks sex appeal. Because why? Well, it's because uh, the star... The woman playing Harley Quinn is literally running around saying that in interviews. Maybe that's why people are talking about that. Because she's saying it. But I'm pretty sure you're not going to talk about that either. The men watched the trailer and didn't like that Harley Quinn said F off to the Joker. When it comes down, I guess I want to know when will this end? Uh, when you stop shoehorning politics into the entertainment. That's when people will probably stop criticizing it. Just a thought. Just an idea. How many successful movies need to come out with women as the leads before we finally just have an acceptance of these movies? Once again, uh, people don't have a problem with these movies. Nobody has a problem with Wonder Woman. Nobody has a problem with Black Widow. So you're wrong again. I love that you don't cite any people getting mad of those at those movies in here because you probably can't find any. Do women need to start their are do women need to start our own franchise and just run with it from there in hopes that the men of the internet don't find us? That's okay. I'd like for one female led movie to come out without having to listen to the angry men screaming about how it's bad before they've even laid on eyes on it. Oh, that's already happened. It happened with Wonder Woman. It happened with Wonder Woman. <laughs> but you don't you don't talk about that. How short your memory is. And yes, I know that Wonder Woman in 1980. I know that Wonder Woman 1984 and the unnamed Captain Marvel sequel will do well because of their first installments, but because both Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel had to be rail, rallied behind by women everywhere because of the backlash. So this is this is BS. Nobody had a problem with Wonder Woman. I've been watching YouTube for a while now. Nobody had a problem with it. We don't need to read the rest of the article. You get the point. But I like that she's trying to tie in that she's trying to tie in Wonder Woman. And she did it throughout the entire article. Talking about how Wonder Woman is is facing the brunt from the male nerd, which is a total lie. So is that what we're doing now? We're going to bring in all these movies that didn't do any of the cringy things that Captain Marvel and Birds of Prey are doing and saying that all of these movies have been uh, faced criticism. It's just kind of it's kind of weak. But that's what they keep doing. And now we're going to just say everything. And, you know, and I find it funny. I don't see any articles like this on Black Widow or Wonder Woman 1984. Because nobody's saying anything negative about those movies. Why? Because there's nothing to say. The trailers have looked good. They've been well acted. Nobody that stars in the movies has run around calling anybody idiots. Or that they need to get lectured. Or they've been trying to shoehorn politics into their movie. No one's been doing that. So because of that, there's really nothing to say. We kind of do need to wait for the, movie, <laughs> for the movie to come out to criticize it because there's nothing to criticize. But with this movie, Birds of Prey, just the other day, Ewan McGregor is out talking about how they're playing them soldierists in the movie and how men's time is up. You really don't expect anyone to turn on a microphone and talk about that or to laugh at that on Twitter? 
Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts on this. How do you feel about that? Are you not? Do you like that you're not allowed to criticize bad takes? That you're not allowed to criticize these movies? How do you feel about that? I'd like to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Do you plan on seeing this movie? Are you going to watch this movie in any shape or fashion? Let me know. Also, throw a like up. Those help a lot. And uh, make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Share the video also. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.